What is up, PokéFam? It's Cypher Noir. It is Thursday, and today we're talking about plushies! <laughs> so I actually collect a ton of Pokémon plushies, um, whether they are official Tomy, uh, Nintendo, um, or Pokémon Center plushies, uh, the Build-A-Bears, which we'll talk about in a different video, obviously making my own, crocheting my own, etc. But today specifically, we are talking about the Tomy and the Pokemon Center uh, plushies. So I have, like, okay, so <laughs> a little bit of backstory. So the Sitting Cuties are the Pokemon Center's version of the, the Pokemon plushies. So a couple years ago, they announced the entire first generation so all 151 Pokemon as plushies, and they all range from like three to seven inches, I think. I believe Gyarados is a little bit bigger, but every Pokemon in the first generation got a plushie, which is incredible because not every Pokemon is super popular and gets a ton of merch. Like, I can spit and there's, you know, I can find seven or eight things of Pikachu just like that. Um, same with Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, etc. But like, th there wasn't a lot of merchandise for like Primeape and Mankey and, and stuff like that. So what the Pokemon Center did to fill that void with folks was make the Sitting Cutie plushies. Sitting Cuties plushies. But <laughs> So, um, I've actually started going through and I'm uh, starting from Bulbasaur and going all the way down um, the first generation. I believe they also have all of the second gen Pokemon and they also just recently released a bunch of the third gen Pokemon, which like, I wish I had enough money, like honestly, to buy these because they retail, I believe they're like $10.99 per plushie. But they're like, they're, in my opinion, the detail and just, just how cute they are is just absolutely worth it. Um, and most of the time, Pokemon Center has free shipping over 20 something dollars. I'm not entirely sure if that's correct. I know that I always order like <laughs> 40 or $50 worth of plushies. So that's, I almost always get free shipping. Um, so, I actually don't have a ton of them, but I only grabbed a couple from my uh, from my collection. I only grabbed uh, Sandshrew and Sandslash, and they have a Lolan Sandshrew, but for some reason they don't have a Lolan Sandslash, and I am honestly deeply offended because <laughs> um, obviously I want to get um, I want to get them all. Um, but just like, while the details are printed on, like, you have the detail of, of Sandshrew and this, all the spikes of Sandslash and him little claws and it just, he's just so adorable and, and accurate and there's so much detail and I believe each one of these Again, retails for $10.99 or $11, something like that, US dollars, of course. Um, so it's just like, it blows my mind that so much detail comes into these plushies and they're that cheap. But they have beans in them, so they're a little bit weighted as well. And the they're made of minky, so it's a softer material, so you do have cuddles. And if you're ordering these for your, for your younger children, it's really hard. All you have to, I mean, like, all you have to do is take off the, the tags and there's no choking hazard, there's no buttons, there's no, like, I can't rip the claws off. And it's just, oh, they're just so cute. I know, I think I've bought, at this point, I've bought, like, 15 or 20 of them. I know, like, during the beginning of quarantine, I kind of went a little crazy. I was buying, like, one, I was buying an evolution tree like <laughs> every week um but right now i'm working on trying to get nidoran female nidorina and nidoqueen but right now they're sold out of nidoqueen so i might have to wait 
or maybe I'll just say screw it and buy Nidoran, Nidorina, Nidoran male, Nidorino, and Nidoking. I don't know. It just depends, I guess. <laughs> um, but definitely, I feel those are, are worth it. And I mean, it's up to you, obviously. I'm not trying to force you. I'm just reviewing these. It's just, these are really cute and I want all of them. I just want all of them. <laughs> and next we'll talk about Tomy, which um, has a contract with uh, po Pokemon and Game, I think Game Freak. I'm not sure, Nintendo company. So it is official because it does have the Tomy tag. Um, but my friend actually got this for me. Like, honestly, I tell all my friends, I'm like, if you need any ideas for, for birthday and Christmas presents, anything Pokemon specifically, the games, cards, plushies, shirts, um, <laughs> Anything, anything, uh, like that is just, so, um, my friend actually got me this Duskull, because Duskull is my favorite Pokemon, and it's, it's got all of the details, so it's hard to see, but he has both of his back, backbones, and just the detail is just so cute. These do range in price, I'm not entirely sure how much this one is, I think the one that I had on my Amazon list was like $15. But, um, again, I'm not entirely sure because he just went out of his way and, uh, bought it for me. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> if you're watching this video, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate you and, like, it's my favorite baby. Like, if I was a gym leader, it would be, I would be the ghost leader. No, like, when they announced Alistair, Alistar for, uh, Pokemon Shield, I was like, I almost bought Shield specifically because of him, but I went with Sword because my partner was like, oh no, you're definitely an offense, you're not a defense, and I'm like, you right. Uh, <laughs> one day I hope to show you guys a whole, uh, just like all of my Pokemon plushies, but I just wanted to talk about these couple, uh, just in case you guys were wondering if it was worth it. Of what what other people's opinions are on it because I know that I like to get reviews because uh, when they first came out with the sitting cuties I was skeptical about it but a couple of my friends had ordered some and they're like no 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 definitely do it do it do it do it it's so it's worth it um and so now I've got like I have well over a hundred plushies at this point just for Pokemon and I think I only have a couple of duplicates like I've gotten some from Toriba I bought them from eBay, uh, I've had a couple of people make plushies for me, which like, I love handmade gifts, but uh, other than that, I think that's just about it. One day I'd like to make that video, um, so if you'd like to see that video, please let me know. I, I don't necessarily know exactly what kind of content I should be making, so I'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribe, and hit that little bell for the notifications so that I, I, I ding ya every time I upload a video. As always, I upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays are TCG, Thursdays are items like this where we do merch, merch reviews, um, crafts, etc. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Stay cool, Poka fam.